Hello, welcome to your second video on decomposition reaction. So I'm going to just go ahead and start our screen share as we look at this decomposition reaction. So as we, as you're following along again on that assignment, you have a little graphic organizer with this table on there. Decomposition is literally like the opposite of a synthesis reaction. So like the synthesis reaction, we had two things to combine one. Decomposition is two things break down into two different things. So if I was to put it in our variable description, it's AB breaks down to give us A plus B. If I, again, to describe that with words, one thing breaks apart into two things would be plenty enough to write down. Please, again, as you're watching these videos, please pause it as you need. I'm not going to say pause it now. You're welcome to pause it as um, to your own liking. So the example that I'm going to use in this decomposition reaction is I'm going to split water. So we're going to start with water, and I'm going to put electrical current through it, and as the electrical current is in the water, it's going to separate it into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. So that oxygen is, so unfortunately when you watch the demo, the oxygen demo didn't work very well. So I tried to do a little mini explosion for the O2 and I tried to do, um, I did get a little bit of a little mini explosion with the H2. So that's one thing that you can maybe even watch, already write down in the observations of your example. So again, writing down two to three things of a, what happens during the decomposition reaction. All right, so go ahead. You're gonna be checking, not the single replacement yet, but you will be watching the next video, um, a little part about decomposition. And then after you're done with that, move on to the single replacement. Hello, lovely, amazing students. I just want to share with you really quick about the decomposition reaction. So here is your demonstration about the decomposition reaction. This decomposition reaction is going to be water, and I am splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen gas. So I have this um, electric current running through some um, running through the water, and as the water is actually um, having the electric current go through it, it is separating out two different gases into hydrogen and oxygen. So how do I know that this one is hydrogen? They're both clear gases. I know that this one is hydrogen because hydrogen has twice the amount of hydrogen than oxygen does, so hence H2O. So really briefly, I'm going to do this demonstration for you where I'm gonna show you what happens when you take out the oxygen and you take out the hydrogen. So with that, I'm gonna set up the, um, my little video. So here we go. I'm gonna take a test tube and I'm going to take it from the top here. And I'm gonna turn off the electric current to the water so I'm no longer collecting that oxygen and hydrogen gas. So I'm going to collect first the oxygen. I'm going to collect the oxygen in a little test tube. So there we go. I've got so the oxygen has this little tube on it so it's trapped in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a wooden splint, also a popsicle stick, and ideally, if this is to work well, I will light the popsicle stick and I will blow it out here in just a moment. So I have this on fire a little bit. I'm going to go a little bit more so I have a nice flame going. And then whenever I, so I've got a little bit of a flame, whenever I go to put this inside this test tube, this will reignite. Or glow a little bit brighter instead of going out. 
So that didn't work as well as I had hoped it to, but it did interact with the hydrogen, with the oxygen. And so it is still burning a little bit, but I got a little bit, it didn't, if it, um, ideally that would have happened that that is oxygen. I do, however, even though this one was oxygen, I can prove to you that this one will be hydrogen because hydrogen, as you might remember, is slightly explosive. So I'm gonna take hydrogen gas, I'm gonna put collect hydrogen gas into this test tube. And I hold it with a test tube holder this time. So I'm going to collect the hydrogen gas, put that on my wooden splint, I'm gonna put it into there. So I've got some hydrogen gas in here, I'm gonna cap it just while I'm um, collecting, uh, as I'm getting this wooden splint lit. So I will light it. So I'll get this going. It's gonna take in a moment on there. So I'll let it go. Oh, it went out again, silly. There we go. All right, so as I have this, this going, I'm going to then have this make a little sound. There we go. Gonna keep that going and <laughs> So that was hydrogen gas. That's the sound that hydrogen gas makes whenever it interacts with fire. And then inside it is making some more water. So that's the little demonstration for you.